Nigeria's market largest network uh, by market share network operator, MTN, uh, says it saw a 27.6% increase in half-year earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization. Uh, last year, of course, uh, Issa Pantami of the Communications and Digital Economy directed the Nigerian Communications Commission to audit the subscriber registration database, and that did affect MTN's uh, earnings. Do we have those earnings up? Uh, their, their revenues were up in double digits. So was their EBITDA earnings before interest depreciation. Uh, yeah, there, there they are. Yes, there we go. So 790 billion naira there, 24.1% increase in revenue. EBITDA uh, up by 27.6%, 417 billion. Uh, capital expenditure, they've been spending. They're trying to expand, expand their network, 186 uh, billion naira. But there they are. As we talk about the NIN uh, program there, mobile subscribers down by 7.6 million in uh, half year 2021. All right. Mr. Johnson Chuku, CEO of Cowrie Asset Management, joins me now for more to discuss this. Good evening to you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, what do you make of the drivers behind MTN Nigeria's numbers for half year? Thank you, Ritus, for having me. Um, in the first place, if you look at the figures for MTN and you disaggregate it to the individual revenue heads, you will observe that the major growth in revenue came from data, data services. So you are seeing a lot of people migrate from just voice to data. Of course, there was also growth in, in, in voice revenue, but the strongest growth, which was more than 50% 50, 50 growth, was in data uh, revenue. So you can actually see that gradually, uh, the, like they said, data is now the new gold or the new diamond, whatever you call it. So that's the relation of their growth. Of course, we saw growth across, like I said, we saw growth across all the revenue spectrum. And that was why you saw a growth that uh, for the first time, their revenue was up more than $790 billion. Uh, in the first half of this year. But beyond that, you did mention earlier that we also witnessed a decline in their subscriber base uh, by about 7.6 million uh, subscribers. So what that means is that we, they are enjoying an increase in average revenue per user. So the average revenue per user would have increased because if the revenue is growing at a time when subscriber base is declining, so it simply means more of their users are using more of their services. I mean, more of their customers are using more of their services, either in form of data or in form of voice service. Thank you so much, sir. And you know, with, I want to read a quote uh, to you from MTN Nigeria CEO Carl Toriola. He says, although the initial run rate of additions have been slower than usual due to new process requirements, we anticipate growth to normalize in the short term as more of our acquisition centers are certified for SIM registration. Is this, uh, going back to you know, the loss of subscribers, is, this, um, is the recent NIN exercise a, a case study in the impact of government policy on players in a particular sector? Yes, I think it is. And, and if you really want to appreciate it, you have to look at the performance of the, that sector, I mean, in the ICT sector in the sec first quarter of this year. If you cast your mind back, last quarter of 2020, ICT sector grew by 14.95%. In the first quarter of this year, when that embargo was placed, of course, the embargo was placed sometime in the last quarter of last year, uh, but towards the end of the last quarter of last year, but the impact was more felt in the first quarter of this year. And it was lifted, I think, around the 19th of April this year. But if you look at the first quarter of this year, you realize that the growth in the ICT sector was only 6.47%. Uh, and that was almost a 50% decline in growth rate, which could be attributed to that uh, government freezing of, of uh, uh, activation and registration of new SIM cards, which for me did not make any meaning because the reality is that we have asked people to go and register, uh, to go and register their SIM cards, uh, their BVNs. There are several methods of identification that uh, subscribers have been, have been compelled to, uh, to, to register. And there was no reason why somebody can justifiably say, freeze all registrations, freeze all activations. And even those who lost their SIM could not uh, get them back until after the lifting of the embargo. So clearly, it reflected in the GDP impact. And remember, the ICT sector currently accounts for about 15% of the GDP. So when you take a measure, that slows down that growth. You have overall impact on the GDP, including job creation uh, and several other factors. And this is a sector that is turning out to be the geese that glaze the golden egg. Look at the uh, tax uh, expenditure they incurred last uh, first quarter of this year. 73 billion naira was what they paid as tax to the federal government in the first half of this year. So if you interpolate that as a full year, uh, you'll be talking about more than 140 billion that they paid the government. So it's a sector the government cannot afford to stifle with policies. Thank you so much for that. So, so what do you make, looking at the rest of the year, what do you make of the growth trajectory of the ICT sector and, and the telco subsector in Nigeria? 
Well, they will continue to grow. Um, as we know, um, uh, this is a large economy, large, large population, uh, not necessarily large economy, but large population. Of course, MTN said about 54% of their subscriber base have now uh, um, uh, submitted their NIM. So that means they still have about 46% to, sub, uh, to submit their NIM. That will show you the pro 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 proportion of possible growth that the, that the MTN alone will, will, should expect. And as we know, the multiplicity of uses of data. I had mentioned that data is now the new gold or the new diamond, whatever you call it. But the reality is that almost everything today is riding on data. I am doing this interview in the comfort of my library at home, and it wasn't possible if not that you have strong data services today. Otherwise, I would have been at your studio. And everybody is beginning to enjoy the use of data as a data becomes more um, universally available in the country or more commonly available in the country. A lot more people will begin to subscribe to data and then you should see further expansion in the revenue of the ICT sector. Beyond that, there are several subsectors of the economy that are arriving on data. Take, for instance, the entertainment industry today. The data has become the medium of, uh, medium of um, distribution of entertainment content in the country, and that will also show you the possibilities that the possibilities are limitless. And uh, sorry, just in a minute to go, mobile money, how do you see that working out on the continent with the telcos? You know, um, as it stands today, Africa is one of the least uh, banked uh, continents in the world, particularly a country like Nigeria. We see a lot of Nigerians that uh, do not have access to banking facilities. Mobile money is breaching that gap. It's providing financial services to those who ordinarily would not have access to financial services. I'll give you an instance. I was in my country home last uh, weekend. On Saturday, I went to see a friend's construction. I saw workers there, and they asked them, say, where did we meet this morning? They said they, they met at the POS terminal. I, I turned, I said, what do you mean? I couldn't relate with the fact that they're talking about point of sales terminal because I didn't know that such facilities are now available in my country, in my village. And today, that is a, one of the mediums of mobile money, a distribution channels. So you're going to see a lot more of that as data services becomes Great stuff. available, more readily available across the country. Great stuff. Uh, Mr. Johnson, Chuko, CEO, Carrie Asset Management, thank you so much for taking us through those telco results for MTN. Thank you very much, sir, for your insight.